apart from column quality the second preview option that we have is column distribution now column distribution allows us to see the values in a column and how those values are distributed and it also shows us the number of distinct and the number of unique values that you have inside a column now most people are usually confused by the difference between distinct and unique but let's take a look at this list so if you have apple and another apple and an orange and another orange and a lime in this list we have in total five fruits but out of these five fruits we actually have just three distinct fruits so we have apple we have orange and we have lime and out of these three distinct fruits we only have one unique fruit that is lime because it is the only one that appears only once so this thing is going to count every value that you have in a column but without counting anyone twice while unique on the other hand is going to count the values that do not appear more than once so i'm going to go again to my view tab in power query and i want to disable column quality for now and then i'm going to enable column distribution so when column distribution is enabled you can see that still at the top of my power query just beneath my column headers i have some charts and apart from the chart you will also see that there is also a display of number of distinct and number of unique values the chart is meant to be a representation of the distribution of values in the column so for example if i scroll to where i have my sales column you are going to see that the length of the bars are the same thing that is to tell you that the distribution of the values in this column are the same each of the values in this column appear the same number of times so when you look through you are going to see that all the values in the column appear only once i mean there's only one occurrence of 135.72 there's only one occurrence of 263.96 and there's only one occurrence for every single value in this column that's why the bars are showing the exact same length on the other hand if i go to a column like the customer name you are going to see that here there is one bar that seems to be higher than all the other bars which is supposed to show that for example i have this name daniel lacy appearing more than every other value in the customer name column because daniel appears three times and then you will see that there are two other values that appear the same number of times and those are supposed to be probably uh, adrian and carol that both appear twice and then you are going to see that there is also another two values that appear the same number of times and that is going to be mark and herbert that appear only one time each so the column distribution is going to give us graphically the distribution of values we have in a column which can help us sometimes to spot if we have outliers inside our data but apart from that it also shows us the number of distinct and the number of unique values that we have in a column so for example in this column there are five distinct values if we are not counting twice so we have a daniel we have a mark we have an adrian we have a carol and we also have a hubert right so that's five distinct values now out of these five distinct values there are only two of them that are unique i mean if you check it you are going to see that daniel appears three times that means that's not unique you are going to see that adrian appears twice that's also not unique you are also going to see that carol also appears twice that's also not unique so that leaves us with two unique values in mark and Hubert.